Hello everybody, welcome to another Android Studio tutorial. My name is Mitch Tabian and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a recycler view. And in the first one I'm just going to show you how to basically, so how we have a category called uh, like meal here, so we'll put in, I don't know, uh, I don't know, I think I already, let's do tacos. Oops, not three tacos, one taco. Tacos, and for dessert we're going to have, uh, just for candy. I always like to have these kind of interfaces for my tutorials just because it's more more practical. So let me hit the add button, it's going to add just like you've seen in my other tutorials. Then when you hit view, you can take a look at everything that you've added to your database. So we have a heading that's called the meal and dessert list, and on the left you're going to have your meals, and on the right you're going to have all your desserts. So yeah, and in this one I'm just going to show you how to make this basic basic recycler view and in, in the next one I'll probably do put like an on click listener on here or something. So the first thing we want to do is create a new project. And blank activity. So I also want to note that all the formatting I use on here like uh, like when you go to view and these underlines and see how these boxes are all kind of round, have rounded edges and the top one has a blue blue underline. I'm not going to show you how to do any of that in this tutorial. If you want to check out my other tutorials, uh, what is it? I think creating custom buttons. Yeah, my tutorial on creating custom buttons shows you how to do that. So take a look at that if you want to know how, how I do that. Otherwise, I'm just going to throw it in. So the first thing we want to do is we got to add the dependency. So I just it went, went on over to Android Hive and checked out their Recycler View tutorial here. And I can grab this dependency. And we'll throw that guy in here. Let's see, talk about them. So the first one we're going to do is activity. We'll do the layouts first. We'll do activity main first. So I put them all into this notepad so I can just copy them in. Okay, there we go. So there's our front page. All done. I'll just scroll down. I'll scroll down slowly in case you guys are going to copy this out. I just didn't want to waste time making the layout. It's not not like a, it's not too tough. Uh, so the next thing we'll do is create our next layout. And what's that going to be called? Uh, our what I like to call the recycler blueprint. I said I'm gonna add these into the drawable and the colors. I'm not gonna, not gonna go over it. Just gonna throw them in here. Okay, so I have our black square border, blue square border, and I threw in the color black into there. Change that. Uh, yeah. So here, this is gonna be what I got, what I like to call the blueprint. So basically, in the blueprint, you're gonna have a location for the first thing you're going to display and then a location for the second thing you're going to display and this this blueprint essentially gets recycled over and over again for each item in in your uh, I don't know in your list I guess so that'll be like our meal position and that'll be where our desserts are so the next thing we'll make is the recycler layout and this is what actually contains the recycler view that's the blueprint recycler layout this guy and there we go so you know the top is just the heading that I create here just a text view and then here's where the actual recycler view goes so this goes on forever and it essentially will recycle the recycler blueprint. So, what? Yeah. So the recycler layout, like item zero, will be the first uh, recycler blueprint, and then and so on. It just keeps iterating through. So now that that is done, I guess we will make the recycler adapter because that's the hardest thing. 
So the first thing we'll do I think it's the hardest thing to do anyway. There we go. Okay, so now I just need to make my food class. Should be pretty straightforward. easy enough. Put the food class down, so now what? Uh... Oh, I had my... this was spelled wrong. Alright, so there is our recycler adapter, no more red, all goodness, and we got our food class made, we're just going to store our data, and the next thing we're going to do, because I, I think this is the most effective way to store data, is just create a database helper, and if you guys want to see more details about how to create a database helper, check out my uh, SQLite, SQ, yeah, SQLite database helper tutorial, otherwise uh, I'm just going to paste in the database helper word right here. because I just want to save time and you guys have seen it before if you want to learn if you want to see it again just like I said check out my SQLite database tutorial there we go so but here I'll just run over it real quick basically we're creating a database uh, called food I'm going to create a table called food data and we're going to store meal and dessert just like in the food uh, class we have a meal and a dessert and that's pretty much all there is to it we have an add data method and then get list contents method. Okay, so yeah, check out my other tutorial if you want to learn more about that. So now I guess we'll do some coding. Actually, just want to save time so I can fit this all into a reasonably long tutorial. I don't want you guys sitting here getting bored having to watch this for, for like an hour. All about saving time. Call it my database just like I always do. I'm going to typecast these things. So I'm actually going to just copy this. Although I'm pretty sure when I type it, it's pretty much just as fast. The text and dessert. There we go. And then the database. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's not it. Okay. Uh, I guess first of all, yeah, I'll make I'll make my add data method for adding data to the database. So this is going to be the same as in my SQLite tutorial also, so check that out. So there we go. I just I just skipped over that because it's old it's old news. Basically we just add the meal and the dessert into the database just like that. 
And we gotta make a couple on click lists here, so we'll make one for the add button. string is zero. Yeah, it will look, the length of both of them are zero. Then it's not gonna do anything. But if they are if they both have content then we'll add the meal and we'll add the dessert. And then we need to set the text back to nothing and get ready for the next entry. This one's going to be an intent to switch screens to the view screen. Oops. And we're going to call the other class view foods because that's what we're doing. We're viewing foods. And start activity, throw the intent. Whoops. Pass the intent. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. Now we just got to create this view foods class. So view foods. Nope, we want a recycler view. I'm going to be really creative and call it a recycler view. And we're going to create a database helper. Call it mydb like always. And, oh, instead of importing the onCreate, I'm just going to copy this. Do a little copy pass to action. And this is going to be our recycler layout. So this is the one, I'll just show you. It's this one right here that repeats. So this right here, this recycler view is, I believe this one is, oh yeah, it's, uh, yeah, so it's the actual, sorry, it's the actual recycler view, this guy right here, I called it RV for recycler view. And we need a cursor because we're using uh, an SQL database. This is our get list contents method, which is inside of our Alright, inside of our database at the bottom right here. So we call that. And we're going to create a list, a food list. I'm going to call it food list. Because I am super creative. Use i as a counter. So if. And to handle if the data count is zero. So if there's no data, we're going to make. Or actually, yeah, so if it, it doesn't equal zero, we'll do that first. Oops. Should we move to next? Create a new instance of food. I'm going to get it from the database. So we'll get first, well, the second column, and then we'll get uh, the, uh, is it, yeah, the third column. And then we'll populate our food list by doing add foods. 
Oops. Let's do I get real and then count. Okay. list and use our cycle view and set the adapter and then um, set the layout there we go okay and then we handle I'm going to grab this toast over here so I don't have to type it so this is it. This is going to be if the there's no data in the database. There is no data to show. Uh, this is there we go. Okay. I think we're good to go. Oh, we got to add the I got to add the view foods to the manifest. I always forget to do that. Um, yeah, I think, I think we're good to go here. So let's, uh, let's check out what we got. No, oh, looks like we're good to go. Okay, so if we hit view, first of all, we can see there's no data to show, just like we wrote in our toast right here. That's good, so let's go back and let's add some data. So our first meal is going to be, um, uh, hamburgers. Hamburgers are for the ice cream. Nice, nutritious meal. Second one will be pizza, another nutritious meal. And we're gonna have I don't even know how you spell popsicles. Popsicles? Maybe. So hit add and check it out, and there we go. So that's that's the end of this tutorial. It's pretty it's a pretty simple introduction to recycler views. But you can see it's like it's not an easy thing to do. Like we got we got five classes here and three layouts. So don't be discouraged if you don't understand it at first, just just copy this recycler view and just kind of play with it and you know figure out what your app needs and yeah so uh, if you like the tutorial don't forget to like the tutorial show you so show your show your support and subscribe and thank you for watching